Tommy Thayer. You might already know that. We're here at the NAMM show in Anaheim. It's a, it's a blustery day down here. We're inside just having a private conversation, Marcus and I. Yeah, just Tommy and I and, you know, 50,000 of our closest friends. <laughs> but we're here in the, in the back. There he is right there. Here's the man. Yeah! I'd like to introduce everybody. The man responsible <laughs> for, this Jim for us and everything. He's the man that makes everything happen. The president <laughs> yes. of Epiphone right here. Thank you. What Thank a pleasure. You. Yes. <laughs> How you doing, man? Sorry for the interruption. That was just the president of Epiphone, so we had to pay our, our respects. Absolutely. Now we're back, uh, back The, the Godfather the... shows up. I, I, I bow to the, capitulate to the man, Jim Rosenberg. And it was actually Jim that I talked to first about doing an Epiphone model last year. Um, yes. I was, uh, wanted to do a signature guitar, you know, and I had my Gibson custom shops standards that I play on stage, but I really wanted to do an Epiphone because I love the quality and uh, my vice up there, fantastic guitars, and but I also wanted to do something that was affordable for everybody too, yeah, and absolutely. that was really the, 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 the kind of the genesis behind doing something and, or wanting to do something with Epiphone, so I got a hold of Jim and he thought it was a great idea to do a, a Tommy Thayer uh, Spaceman limited edition Les Paul, so here we are one year later. And we're rocking. What a phenomenal instrument. Let's talk about some of the components. What do you have in the pickups here? Can you tell us? So this is really unique. Unlike a lot of Epiphones, these are actually Gibson 498 pickups. The exact pickups I use in my standards, uh, my regular guitars. And, you know, so that's, those are my favorite pickup in there. In, in, in this guitar stock, every guitar. Also, uh, up here we have, you know, really good quality Grover Deluxe tuners, which uh, are the same ones I use on all my guitars as well. Um, you've got the the Spaceman emblem there, very kind of low keyed, very cool on the back there. Now, um, when you design the neck profile, what did you have in mind? What kind of Les Pauls are you used to playing? Well, I'm, I'm usually playing. The neck profile on most of my guitars is a 1960s. Slim taper? It's a slim taper, but we added just a little bit to this because actually a couple of the guitars I've had recently made in the last year or so, I've added a little bit because um, you know I wanted just a little bit more uh, beef on the neck, but not. I didn't want a baseball bat either. Sure. So th this is generally a, a slim taper neck. 1960s profile, um, and you know, so it really feels exactly like all my guitars, which is great. I, when I got this in my hands, in the you know the first time, I was really pleased just how well it played and how how it felt right. Right. Because uh, you know you never know how things are gonna you know. Well, the thing about guitars is that you can literally if you've been playing them long enough, you wrap your hand around the neck and you can kind of feel immediately if it's gonna work for you. This you know is immediately. Yeah. Super comfortable, really accessible. Everything's just like my guitar. This is a silver sparkle top. I've got the 498 Gibson pickup. Of course, it's black on the back, which is you know a nice. It's a nice contrast. Great looking guitar. Yeah. Um, but you know, I really didn't want to stylize it too much, though either. You know, um, you know, it's very much a guitar that looks great on stage with Kiss, but it's also a guitar that uh, that anybody, any musician walking into the guitar shop will, will see it and go. Wow, I like that. Well, it they're going to be stoked. It's absolutely a gorgeous instrument. Congratulations on it. Thanks, Marcus. I appreciate it.